Okay, so we're going to have a go at making this smaller one. And this time we're going to add a texture to it. So as I mentioned earlier, using some wallpaper. So the same technique. I'm going to cut that piece of clay in half. Don't think I'm going to need all of that. So, and then I'm going to roll that as I did the first time. So, again, nice and evenly, turning it around so we can get the right size that we need. And the right thickness. Don't want it be too, to be too thick, but we don't want it to be too flimsy so that it's not sturdy enough. Okay, and then when you're happy with the size of that, you can then just place that just to check. I'm going to give that one more roll. Try and get it a little bit smoother. Okay, and then just taking the wallpaper and placing it, any kind of textured wallpaper will do. You can see it's got an embossed quality to it. And then we're going to place that down and roll carefully. Try not to move it because you don't want it to sort of repeat and, and move so that you end up with a multiple print or a blurred print and then you can take that off if you're thinking actually that's not impressed as well as I want then just hold it on and roll it and then just peel that off and then you can place your shape and then cut out. Now this time this is a smaller version but the same technique applies. Okay so we're starting with our former that's got some cling film on it so that it's not going to stick. I'm going to take that off and start at the top again. So we've got that fold over section. Just make sure that we've got a little bit of a space at the bottom. And then we're just carefully folding that over there. This time, because it's got a texture, I'm not going to mess around with it as much. I'm going to try and keep it nice and I'm not going to sort of use my hands too much on it. And now actually looking at that section, that's quite a wide section. So what I'm going to do is cut that section down. I'm going to take a little bit of that extra section off. And then I'm going to score it and slip it. And this is where, as you become more confident with the technique you can sort of vary the approach as long as the key thing is is that you are attaching the clay to clay and that there's enough hold because otherwise it will actually come apart again i'm just taking my slip putting some of that on and on the other side as well and i'm going to fold that over but this time, unlike when I smoothed it all together, I'm just going to add a little bit of pressure there and tap that round. And I'm actually going to leave that as part of a feature. Just 
you can see that little bits of the slip have come out so I'm going to use that to help me attach the one section to the other again just pressing that down works quite well so just so that we've got that section attached and then the top bit I'm going to take to a bit of a, a point I suppose this is where we sort of individualize in our design it's taking that sponge and smoothing that down get rid of that little nib Okay, so I've got a textured piece there. And then again, I can then carry on with the idea for the star at the top. Um, I might want to even go a bit further and put a fairy on top. So I might want to kind of model something there where I'm attaching that on. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you is how to make a, a much smaller one and this time we're not going to use a former we're just going to use a pinch pot technique so we're simply going to create a shape actually it's not even a pinch pot it's basically creating a shape and then hollowing it out so that it's not a solid shape for this size and you can see sort of compared to my finger it's actually quite small so it could even be a solid piece of clay but usual rule of thumb is to hollow out the clay so that you um, it dries out a little bit quicker and actually then air can escape okay much better to have air escaping as opposed to air trapped in the clay which again can cause explosions in the kiln which we don't want okay so just with this one i'm going to take a smaller piece of clay i'm going to roll this into a cone shape so I might want to kind of pinch it at the top and this is all really about the modeling skills about sort of getting the shape that you want now you might want to roll it so you're getting that sort of cone shape again tapping is always a good way And so to just push in the clay round, moving it into the shape that you want. You could even roll it on the mat. So you're sort of going, making it more rounded. And then if it goes too wide at the base, you can always cut that down okay so you get in the shape that you you want you know might even take that little section off okay so when you've done that you can then dig out a little bit of clay in the center either using the wooden tool or a knife and all we're doing is just turning that round and then smoothing that out and then it's just about refining the shape um, finishing it off Again, the most important things that you can use are your hands. Okay, and then with that we can then use a sponge that's only got a tiny, tiny bit of water. We get rid of all of that water on your sponge and you can smooth that out.
and lightly. So, slightly wonky. So maybe I take a little bit off that base. The great thing about clay is you can take away, you can add, particularly at this stage, when it's still very malleable. Okay, so we've got our shape. We could then start to use the skewer and make marks into it if we want to you can just have some fun coming up with ways of adding texture it might be that you've got a stamp that you can use if you're not happy with it you can just smooth it out and try a different texture one thing i often do is try it on a, a scrappy piece of clay before I do anything so that I'm just deciding on what I prefer okay and then obviously from that you can then start to think about adding a tiny star on the top and this is where obviously with all this practice that you've had with making your larger version you can make that tiny star again making sure that you're putting your slip on and you're attaching it really well okay guys well that's the end of our workshop with about making clay christmas trees um just to recap we've got our larger former now i would leave this now to dry now it will shrink as it dries and obviously it's on this former so what we need to do is leave it to dry until it's leather hard okay so it's not as dry as this here so it's not green wear but you will notice it almost like goes like hard cheese cheddar okay when it's at that stage so i would say in about if it's in a warm room that might actually be in a couple of hours or so if it's in a cold space it might take longer you are just simply taking away the base so i can show you on here i've got my plastic i'm going to take a bit of a risk here okay i'm just going to carefully pull that out and you can see at the moment this is still quite wet so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave that for a little while and i've got a bit of a trick of using a hairdryer to kind of dry it out a little bit so I'm going to do that and I'll show you then how to take away your former because what we can't do is fire this with this in it, okay?